I knew what hotels to hang out with because autograph collectors would, like, they would all know. Somehow they would just know. They made it a point to know uh, Rita Hayworth was staying at the St. Regis or yeah. Susan Hayward was up staying at the Carlisle or whatever. So yeah. if you wanted that person, you just had to strategize a thought pattern of people usually go out from like 11 in the morning till maybe 1 or 2 and then they usually come in between 4 and 6 and then if they're in New York they're probably going to see a Broadway show which starts at 8 so if I'm there between any of those times of the coming and goings normally I would get them yeah. because it just seems to be human pattern to go yeah. in and out of the house at that time yeah. so I strategized it all and right. it, it, 90 percent of the time it worked out right and it's interesting that it was kind of a community that you tell each other things and that, that you <laughs> yes yeah. because we, there, we weren't competitive yeah. back then because there wasn't eBay nobody was selling anything for anything yeah. you know right. so it wasn't like oh well if you get uh, Jimmy Cagney and I don't then you got this and I don't they, they didn't look at it like that yeah. you know it was like we shared our information yeah. you know yeah. so that that was a much better time God now I could be standing next to a photographer and he's getting a cell phone scoop on something that's happening right that moment yeah. and he yeah, he turns does away. one of those numbers, doesn't want me to know. Yeah. Because if I show up, then my picture may sell and his doesn't. Yeah, I see, yeah.